In this video, I'm gonna try to draw the United States using nothing but my memory and this blank map. If you're new here to the channel, welcome in. My name is Chicago Geographer. I'm a pro GeoGuessr player and a geography content creator. I've wanted to do something like this on the channel for so long, and this is a really cool new quiz over on Huge Quiz, so let's check it out and see how I can do. Guys, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and let's get going. Our first state is North Dakota, okay. I'm gonna start right here on the border, and then the border is this Red River, which is sort of a squiggly line down like this. Goes past Fargo and everything, too, and then it makes it down to, like, here, I think. Just about there. The hard part here is gonna be proportions for me, especially inland, if there's not really a good landmark. I think that should be okay. And then it's pretty much just a straight line over with South Dakota, like this. I'm very bad at drawing the straight lines here. And then I know that the Montana-Wyoming border cuts through the Black Hills, that green patch south there. So we should end about here. And then it's just another straight line up for the Montana border. My oh, god, these straight lines are so bad. And then we have another one on the 49th parallel. That's the border with Canada. Through the Turtle Mountains right there. And back over to that. I'm not dissatisfied with that. I could have done better with those straight lines, but let's see what my score is for that. A hundred! Oh, that's an excellent start. I'm so, so proud of that, man. Next one is Iowa. Okay, Iowa is over here. <laughs> the hard part for me is where this starts along the Mississippi, because that's Dubuque here. So... I think it starts like up here all this way up i'm gonna start here though and draw the straight line out to south dakota sort of like that i think that's more or less it wait yeah no that's sioux falls so nah it goes all the way to here i'm gonna try that again actually yeah let's say like right about there and just follow the river here that should be much better down past omaha again and i think i said to like here <laughs> should be okay let's see draw the straight line over little tail thing and then up along the Mississippi again, whoop, through the Quad Cities. That's a lot better. And then we got the straight line with Minnesota. Okay, that feels a lot better to me. Let's submit. Let's see what we get for that one. 94. That's not bad yet. There, something's wrong up here for sure. New Hampshire next. Oh, God. Probably should start on the coast. Let me find Portsmouth. That's Portsmouth here. So really, it's just got this little bit of coast. It has that weird bit with Massachusetts, the, the mill towns along there. Then you got a bit of a straight line... I think over to here. Is this that river? I think it follows this sort of... Oh god, <laughs> that doesn't look good. <laughs> uh, yeah, because Vermont goes pretty far into it. And then it goes like that. And then it's a straight line with Maine here. Wait, what have I done? What is this? No, no, no. <laughs> I have way too much coast in New Hampshire. They, they took a lot back from Maine here. Ah, uh, you know what? Whatever, man. I'm submitting it. <laughs> That's too funny to not submit that. 59 points. <laughs> God damn it. Next up, Minnesota. Actually good. We've drawn like half the border already from Iowa, North Dakota. So I'm gonna just start from here. Is it a straight line? Yeah, it is a straight line with South Dakota, right? That's right. Yeah, it's just like this. We hit Iowa. So I just kind of traced the Iowa line here. And then we have Mississippi border for a little bit along Wisconsin, which goes all the way into like here. Back out past Duluth. Uh, not too happy with that. Let me trace Lake Superior. Actually, how far does this go? I think up to th there? <laughs> oh no, Minnesotans, don't kill me. Please forgive me for what I'm about to draw. <laughs> oh god. What happens here? <laughs> what is the border with Ontario, Manitoba? I can't think of it. I can't visualize in my head. Is it just a straight line? And then you have Angle Inlet over here, which... Whoop. <laughs> And then back down. And then we gotta follow the Red River again here. Oh no, that is so bad. <laughs> this is really, really deformed up here. Let's see what my score is for that one. 91, okay. I think, apart from this, I did pretty well, honestly. Next we have Arizona. Arizona is one of our more boxy states out in the southwest. So, see if I can do this. It shouldn't be terrible. Where's the Grand Canyon? <laughs> this is the Grand Canyon here. So, yeah, yeah, that's our northern border. So it goes like... I think Four Corners is here. You know, I'm gonna start over by Yuma. It's California stuff along here. Oh, this is not good. I think it does follow- it follows the river. It follows the river. But dude, what? How does this work? Because Nevada has that little- little cutout thing. Is it like this? Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> oh god. I can't do this. The Arizona is bad. The west side of Arizona. I just have no idea what the border is. And I think we cut across over to here. Straight line down. Gotta go to, like, here, I think, and then move this, and then Gadsden Purchase goes, like, woo. 
Arizona. That is an abomination and a half. Let's see my score for this one. 91. Not bad. Next, West Virginia. No, don't give me West Virginia now. How can I do this without any reference? <laughs> oh, no. Let's try. Let's try. What do I do? Where do I even begin with that? The better way to do this is to go, like, up here, starting here. Because that's Pittsburgh. That's the Ohio. So that's, like, the, the panhandle thing here. So I'm going to start with that, I think. Just sort of do all this stuff. Because you know that goes along here past... All this. <laughs> oh no. Actually, yeah, maybe that is what it does. And then, oh my god. I'm gonna like start curving it in. <laughs> uh, down to Virginia. Yeah, sure. Then we follow the Blue Ridge Mountains up to somewhere. <laughs> and then Panhandle starts to go over to all this crap here. Oh no. That's Cumberland, Maryland there. So then it hits Pennsylvania and goes like that. Ugh. Am I happy with that? No. Am I going to submit it? Yeah. Let's see. 84. That's better than I was expecting. Okay. Alright, next up is Maryland now. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Would have been nice to have to draw this first and then do West Virginia, but it's fine. So I'll probably start with the Delaware border. Delaware starts about here. So we'll go down the coast. Make sure we're not giving too much land to Maryland here. Uh, over to this stuff. I don't know how accurately I need to trace this coast here. We do that, and then it has all the Chesapeake Bay, right? Almost all of it, I think. We can come back, back down to the Chesapeake, past Baltimore here. Maryland has all of this. I think it has this. And that's the border with Virginia here. And then... We go along the Potomac here. Up to D.C., like that. Up past Leesburg. And then we hit West Virginia stuff, which I definitely messed up here, so I can't rely on my West Virginia drawing. Up by Frederick Hagerstown. Yeah, it's, it's close. It's close. There's that little narrow bit up here, and then it goes down. I'm gonna just use that. I feel like that's pretty good, honestly. Over to Delaware, where it cuts back down. Forms Delaware. There we have Maryland. I am pretty happy with that. It doesn't look too bad, I think. Could be worse, for sure. I don't see this one. 76? What? Maybe I just didn't get enough of the Chesapeake in here. Maybe I didn't need to... Cut out the bay? Well, in any case, we got California next. Oh, no. Let me first work out where this starts in the north. Let me find Redding. Redding is here. Lake Tahoe is where the, the bend starts, so it cuts back up north. Yeah, so it's gotta be, like, here. Thinking about it. And then that's Oregon here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we're gonna draw our straight line with Oregon here. And that cuts over to this, and then it goes south. Hits Lake Tahoe, and then it goes like that for Nevada. And then we hit Arizona stuff, which I feel like I didn't do the worst with this western border. Salt and Sea is there. Yeah, 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 that's it. And then trace the coast. Okay, kind of being sloppy with that. I can't really see where it starts and ends. Yes, okay. Quite happy with that, actually. I think that looks pretty good. I might not have gone far enough north, but let's see the score. Come on. 97, yeah, not bad. Connecticut time, here we go. Gotta think back to where westerly Rhode Island is, which is that. Right? That's westerly? Yes. Okay. So that's the border. The river there. And then we have Springfield, Massachusetts, which is here. And the Connecticut border is like right there. Oh wait, I messed it up. I went- I drew the line through New London, not westerly. That's why. That's why it feels wrong. Crap, I gotta try again. That's why it was wrong. Here we go. Now we got the straight line. That's much better. Through westerly. Alright, back down to Greenwich. This is where I'm messing up, is this thing for sure. Past Danbury. Straight line. Back to this parallel, and that's a much better looking Connecticut. And I just realized I missed the divot here with Massachusetts, but it's fine. I'm not doing it again. 97 points I'm pretty happy with. Next is Pennsylvania. Okay, we have a lot of Pennsylvania done here with Maryland, West Virginia. I'm going to start up by Erie, which I think I'm pretty happy with this. Straight line. And by Pittsburgh. That's a circle here by Delaware. <laughs> Delaware doesn't look too hot right now. Gets Philly in there, up by Trenton, and then it gets kind of funky with New Jersey. Really, I'm just drawing New Jersey right now, which goes like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then that's where New York has its, like, inward line like this. Yes, and then straight line past Binghamton, and then we hit the little notch thing. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that, actually. 95, that's not bad. Mississippi next, our first full southern state here, so... Oof. I actually don't want to draw this. How do I do it? Memphis is here. So the border is, like, right along this line here. And then it hits the river. Okay, so we can just sort of start up there, follow the Mississippi. But then Louisiana has to have its, like, thing like this. 
I'm gonna keep going until it feels right to stop and cut over for that not bulge out part, the straight line here. Now it goes down a bit more. Because it goes in and then, yeah, I think here is where it goes to straight line. Fairly far over for Louisiana. And then, I don't really know actually what this border is here. I think it's just sort of a more or less straight line like that. Down the coast. Then you get Gulfport, Pascagoula here. And then the Alabama stuff. So, this goes like this. Very slightly inward. Outward a bit more like that. And then there's a little notch too, like this. Not bad. I think this is a little bit misshapen, but we're gonna see. Pretty happy with that. 93. That's fine. Indiana next. My bordering state over to the east. Indiana literally borders the city of Chicago here. And I've biked to that border many times. It's pretty cool. I'm worried about the Ohio River stuff here. Let me find Evansville. There it is. We have the Whiting Refinery stuff here. So we start about there. And it's just a straight line down. Down, 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 down. Past Danville right there. And then about by Terre Haute is where it hits the Wabash. It was more like this... Sort of. <laughs> it's not very good, is it? Out like that, down to Illinois, and then... Then we hit the Ohio up by Evansville. And I think I'm more or less tracing it here. There's Louisville. I accidentally right-clicked, so I've got to retrace my steps here, but I have it drawn, so... Let's start over here. Then it's just straight line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Ohio. That's Fort Wayne in there. Good. I'm making sure I have Fort Wayne. And then we go a little bit past South Bend. Over to the lake. Hit the lake. Get Gary and Hammond. And now I've got to trace it over. There we go. Indiana. That doesn't look too bad. Let's see. That's fine. 96. Okay. Okay. Florida's next. Florida, thankfully, is the most the coast states. They're really testing my tracing skills here. That's actually, yeah, that's Pensacola here. So Florida starts like there. And it's a little bit of a weird border up to like here. That's Dothan, so we gotta get that for Alabama, so it's like that. Alright, so we know that's Pensacola here, so we start about there. Okay. Good. And then the Georgia Notch is pretty far over, right? It's like here. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Now we trace the coast, okay. I don't think we need to get the keys in, I'm not gonna worry about the keys. Okay, tracing it, tracing it. That's actually pretty beautiful. I'm very happy with my Florida here. How many points for that? 92! Probably just a bad tracing job. Yeah, I cut out some stuff here. Sorry. Next up, Oklahoma. Here we go. Inland State again. Okay. Let me find Black Mesa. Black Mesa is the high point. That's the Panhandle end. So that's like... Is that Black Mesa? So... Panhandle's about there. And that's Texarkana. And Oklahoma ends sort of by Texarkana. So there's Joplin. Yeah, it's like right south of Joplin. That feels a bit better. And all the way hitting tiny bit of this stuff. Panhandle. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how far the Panhandle goes. I think so, about there. And then we go down. Texas Panhandle starts. Then we hit the Red River, which goes all just sort of like that. I, yeah, good enough. Oklahoma, let's see it. 95. That's generous, I think. All right, next up, oh, Illinois. It's time. Thankfully, we have Iowa, we have Indiana, and Illinois, my home state. I hope I can just trace the rivers properly and it'll be good. Okay, here we go. So, that's... Kenosha right here is the border is just south of Kenosha. Straight line over to Iowa. It's that. And we trace what I've drawn for Iowa. Really want to do well in Illinois. If I get anything less than like 95, I'll be sad. Down past Quincy. St. Louis. Cape Girardeau. Ah, this is where it gets hard because I'm so zoomed out. I mean, that should be the rivers here. This actually goes a bit farther south like that. And then... Then we hit all this stuff, okay. Uh, and then pack past Chicago, north suburbs, and Illinois. I don't think it's gonna be a 95 or higher. 96, it is, let's go. We got that out of the way, Kentucky is next. We have a lot of this border drawn for Kentucky, and West Virginia doesn't look very good at all. So, but now that I have a little bit more of a reference, maybe I can work my way around West Virginia, figure out what I did wrong here. That's Clarksville here, so the southern edge is this. Draw my straight line out. That's Tennessee. Tennessee feels too narrow here. Well, let me draw this and see if I have to restart it. Uh, that's not quite right. And now I trace my terrible Ohio River tracing all the way up past Cincinnati. It's about to there. Then it comes back down along the Ohio again. Hits Huntington Tri-Cities and does the West Virginia thing. Which, uh, it's not terrible here. Over, and then we hit 
like this in Virginia. You know, I definitely drew this too far south, that straight line. That's more what it needs to be. Can I just do that? <laughs> we have this thing in here. No, <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just submitting it. Whatever. That's funny. <laughs> Little triangle annexation of Tennessee here. 91 points. Alright, South Carolina now. Oh, man. These are tough without the reference. So, that's Savannah. So, South Carolina starts, like, right there. Along the river here. Up past... Augusta. Past Augusta. And then it, it's still along the river here. And I gotta make sure I'm getting Greenville and I think this is where it ends. And then it hits the... No, 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 it hits the fringe of the mountains. No, it keeps going a bit farther. And this happens. <laughs> Up to North Carolina. There's a bit of a straight line here. Down past Charlotte. Goes like that. And then... Sort of something happens like this along to the coast. And now I trace the coast past Myrtle Beach. I think I just cut Myrtle Beach out of the state, but that's alright. Doesn't look pretty. But maybe it gets 85 points. 94? Okay. North Carolina now, that's convenient. So, North Carolina, I'm gonna start over here. I'm pretty sure that's, this latitude is the parallel, because that's, uh, Hampton Roads. Get the Outer Banks. Let's do the coast first, the easy part. Getting my coast here. I don't know if I need to get all that in there, but I'll just leave it. I'm pretty sure I did a good job with where South Carolina ends on the coast, but then the border itself with North Carolina doesn't look so great. Ah, oh, crap. I right-clicked again. I gotta do it again. Damn it, I hate when I do that. Yeah, this is good, and then, yeah, that goes down a bit. Over to another straight line with Georgia. Yeah, right. Through the mountains to Virginia. And then it's just the straight line all the way back to the coast. Now I have to trace this again, because I right-clicked. I'm actually very happy with that. That feels quite good. Let's see what my score is. 94. Okay, I was happier with that, but alright. <laughs> Next we have Maine. Now I have my terrible New Hampshire drawn already here. Maine is brutal, actually. This is hard, because it's Canada border, and it's not straight lines like all the way over here. Let me just work out where this all starts. Oh my god, wait, where does Maine end? I'm gonna just start at my New Hampshire here and sort of wing it. It, it does this, and then straight line up. <laughs> what happens up here? Something like this. And then line down here, and then we go... Yeah, that's Maine. That sure is Maine, and I gotta give it more coast, because I, I cut out more coast with New Hampshire. Gorgeous! That's not gonna be good at all. <laughs> 88, yeah, a little bit rougher for sure. Next up is Arkansas. It's starting to get a bit better now that we have some states drawn, but still, it's just not easy to figure this out. So I'll start at about here, and that's a straight line over to the Red River, Texarkana. Yeah, I definitely messed up Oklahoma, part of Arkansas. Up to this, and then over, hits Missouri. And then the Mississippi again. Okay. I don't like this very much, but it's there in spirit. Let's see. 91. Nice. Washington now. Washington's kind of interesting. You got the Columbia River border and then all the coast straight lines over here with Idaho and BC. So how do I do this? I think this should be good. I see Spokane is here and the border goes through Spokane. And then Blaine is there. Yeah, so that's the border here. This line, actually. We can kind of see it. Then we start here at Blaine, and it's a straight line through BC. All the way, all the way over to Spokane. So now we cut down, I think. Look at this. Now here's where I run into trouble. Is it the river? That's the border? No, 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 no. It's like a straight line. Down to here. And then, then we have the Columbia border, right? Is that how this works? I really don't know about this. I'm just tracing it now past Portland, Vancouver. Up along there. That's pretty good. Okay, okay. And now we trace the coast. I'm gonna assume I don't need to draw Puget Sound. I really hope not, at least. Just do this. And then we don't need all the San Juan Islands. And there we go. That, I think, is pretty good. Let's see. Should be okay. 97. Nice. Okay. Idaho next. Started to do Idaho. Doesn't help much the straight line, but here we go. And I'm just sort of gonna start up here at the panhandle. This goes to about here. <laughs> and then what happens? Then it's just mountain border with Montana. It goes like this. And then at some point, at some point we go like this, up and over, like that, to Yellowstone, yeah, 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 okay. Down, 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 down. This feels too tall, somehow. We go like there, and then up to here, it's a straight line, and then it gets a little bit weird. Up by Oregon. Something to that effect. Then we trace the straight line up by Washington. And there we go. That, ah, 
that's wrong. Something's very wrong here. It's done. 91. Montana feels very squished. We gotta draw Georgia now. Georgia, we have a lot of it done already. And we have Columbus as a good landmark here to use with Alabama. So here we go. Along this, through Columbus, like that, up to Chattanooga. And I remember I messed up here, so I gotta cut in a little bit more. Do the thing here with South Carolina, and then it hits the river. Sort of like that. I think that's about a lot better, yeah. That's where I messed up with South Carolina. Then we hit the coast, and Georgia done. Let's see. 93. Fine. Vermont. Next up. I think more or less that's the right size of mass. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, but then otherwise it's just the straight line here. The parallel again. So I think I actually do start up here at Lake Champlain. Cut through the lake. Then it's a straight line along New York. Down to about there. Cut over. And I think I really messed up the width of New Hampshire. It should be way, way wider. Because then Vermont goes like this. Up to there. Yeah. Yeah, then we hit the parallel. So I very, very much so screwed up New Hampshire. That should be better for Vermont. 92, yeah. I got 92 Vermont and 59 New Hampshire. And next is Rhode Island. Okay, this one shouldn't take too long. Here we go. Up past here. Then it cuts down past Providence. And then... Do we get all this in there? I think this is... <laughs> maybe... I'm just gonna do this. I'm not tracing all the, the water. I really hope I don't have to do that. I'm reasonably happy with that. Let's see... 88! What did I do? Maybe I did have to trace this. Or uh, I messed something up. Massachusetts now. Okay, really sticking in New England right now. Here we go. Massachusetts. I'm just gonna take what I've got, work with it, do that. <laughs> Line up to here. Now we trace the coast. Oh, I messed up Boston Harbor there. That's fine. Out over to Cape Cod. Okay, gotta get all these little things here. I think I have to get those anyway. Up into the bays and then past Fall River. And here's where I really... What did I do wrong here? I have to retrace my steps again. I keep right-clicking accidentally. I did a terrible job retracing. This is so bad. You're not a fan of what I've done here. My, not my proudest work. That is miserable. But we're submitting it. 93. That's generous. Thank you, huge quiz. Nebraska time. I'm gonna start with the Missouri River here. Like, it follows it up to, like, here. And then I think it just goes straight line. How far out does it go? It's gotta go all the way to Wyoming, so... To like here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we cut down. Gets all that in where Scott's Bluff is. I think we hit this parallel too. Back over. And then the, the cutout for Colorado starts about there. And over. I don't know about this. Straight line though. All the way to Missouri. Yeah, I get a little bit of the Missouri border in there. That's fine. It's fine. It, it could be worse. 96. That feels very generous. I don't think I did this right. Maybe I did do it right. Now we get to draw my very squished Montana. I've got to make sure I'm getting more of the mountains in, because there's no way this is right here. But I think this is more or less good. So we'll start up here from Idaho. Draw the 49th parallel all the way to North Dakota, which I know I did 100% correctly, more or less. So we just draw that line. Then Montana goes down a little bit. It borders South Dakota for a bit. Then we cut over. Hits this. And then, yeah, that's where Idaho does its little... The right-clicking so annoying. So damn annoying. And then, yeah, more of the mountains here like this. Little thing like that. And then I think this is more or less right. So we do that, and now I retrace. Is it good? No. But we'll see what my points are. 95! Yeah, I, I think I fixed a little bit of what I messed up here. I've created no man's land. South Dakota now is pretty much done. Now, I wish we could just keep the borders that I've already drawn, but... Gotta retrace them, but this is... I think I'm gonna have a near-perfect score with this one. Like, that is- that is damn South Dakota if I've ever seen it, man. Give me points. 98, yeah. I got 100% of it in there, yeah. I just kind of messed up the borders a bit. Wisconsin now, thankfully, I have a lot of it drawn already. Because this is- I always mess up the west side of Wisconsin. And now we have the coast as well on Lake Superior to help, so... Start up here. And just kind of trace all the lake stuff. Now, where the Upper Peninsula sort of starts and ends is kind of tough. I think... We do this... It goes like that, and then <laughs> sort of like this happens. Then we get Green Bay. 
Door County. Yeah, okay, that's that's pretty good. Let me trace the lake. And now the rest of our work is done for us. We have it all done already. Okay, and there we go. Wisconsin, that looks pretty good, actually. What do I get? 96. Yeah, not bad. We'll take it. Oregon, starting to get to the point now. We're over halfway done where we have most of the borders for these states done. So Oregon is mostly a tracing game now. Not too hard to draw that. And I'm, I'm happy with my California border, for sure. So I think that's better than I did with Idaho, so I really screwed this up a bit. But yeah, my Washington, I'm pretty happy with, and then yeah, that's just tracing the Columbia now. I can see it in my head on the map right now, I see what happens. It's a matter of, can I draw this? I start up here with Louisiana. A little bit of a river border, down by here, and then... Oh god, <laughs> that's fine. Hit the coast, where Beaumont is, okay. Down past Houston, Galveston. All the way, Corpus Christi, and then we hit the Rio Grande, and now we're trying to trace it along here. I see where it goes, I see it in my head, I have the vision, and now what happens? Now Big Bend happens. So it sort of goes like this. Oh god. Is that right? It's gotta follow this all the way up, right? Because that's where El Paso is here. And then we hit New Mexico, yeah, okay, that's... And then straight shot up. Make the panhandle. That's totally Texas. Not bad. Not bad at all. 97. We've got Kansas up next here, which... What have I done here? I can see New Mexico taking shape. New Mexico's looking pretty good. So this actually is really good. We draw this down over to here. Straight on up to hit Kansas City. And then we trace the river. Sort of like that. Straight line along Nebraska. That's Kansas. That looks really good. 96, that's fine. Utah, and there's Nevada, taking shape. Start on up here, and then... Then it sort of goes all the way to here, and then cuts down... You know, it's all the way to this, because that's where Wyoming is, and then... That's Wyoming. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Something's very wrong here. 89, yeah, I, it's squished here. This northern bit is not right. <laughs> oh god, what is this, man? Missouri, I've basically already drawn Missouri here, which it looks good so far, but got to trace what I've done. All right, getting the boot. That's like the one little bit there that I haven't done yet. Now we're tracing the rest of Arkansas. Uh, yep, yeah, sure is Missouri. It's clean, 92 points. New Jersey's next, okay. Oh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> what did I do wrong here, man? I did so many things wrong. Learning from my mistakes in Pennsylvania. We're gonna start here, down Cape May. Okay, this is the easy part. Up close to Staten Island, so... Gonna be careful to go around it, and then make sure we get Bayonne. Jersey City. And it hits like to this, and then that's where... It goes like that. And then hits Pennsylvania. And this part, I feel like I need to go farther out with. And then back down to this. Now that looks pretty good. I'm actually happy with it. Let's see. 93. Okay, fair enough. Louisiana has most of our work done. It's just tracing coast and everything else, so here we go. I'm a little worried about this, like, Delta stuff. I... I don't know. And then, do I need to go in for, like, Pontra Terrain here? Uh, might as well do it like that. There we go. Yeah. Feels okay. That It could be better, I think. 91. Fair enough. Tennessee... Yeah, ten that looks good. That's Tennessee right there, so we just gotta fill in the blanks here. Beautiful straight line over to there. Perfect straight line, no no problems at all with that line at all. Back along the Mississippi to Memphis. Yeah. That's Tennessee. 95, nice. Delaware is tiny and it's already done, so again, it's just tracing everything now. I feel like I didn't give Maryland enough land here. Yeah, that's better. Because then we hit the circle of... And then, yeah, it gets much narrower here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I quite like my Delaware. Let's see. It's 83. Wait, what did I do? <laughs> ah, whatever. Virginia's next. Again, another one that I have mostly done, except my terrible West Virginia. So let me see if I can figure this out a bit better. I'm happy with how far west this goes here, so... I'll start with that and do my straight line here. Now we trace the coast. We don't have to worry about the thing across the Chesapeake here. And then I, I'm pretty sure I got the Maryland border correct here. So we trace that up again through DC. And yeah, I just really messed up the panhandle of West Virginia. And I don't know what goes on up here now. That should be more like it than it does this stuff. This border here, probably my weakest in the whole country in terms of like knowing what it looks like. That's not good. 91. Okay, it could be worse. Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Really, it's just a tracing game at this point. This is kind of fun. This is therapeutic, just <laughs> tracing over the map. Good stuff. But now we got to remember the Ontario border, so it goes down here through Sault Ste. Marie, like that. 
And then how much of this is in Ontario? Ontario has those islands over to the east. Like Manitoulin. I think it does that. And then this is the US. Down to there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that's pretty good. More or less to what happens, but... We'll see what my points are here. And now we trace my hopefully not terrible Wisconsin border. Yeah, that looks, that looks nice. 91. New Mexico now. We gotta fill in the puzzle piece of this stuff. I feel like I gave Arizona a bit too much land. Like it's gotta be more... Yeah, because Four Corners is more like here. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. I'm, I'm foregoing my Arizona border here. Doing this. And we get the tiny little thing like that. Up, hits Texas and does a little thing like that. And now it's just straight lines, and I'm pretty happy with most of this here. I really like my New Mexico there. That looks beautiful. 97, yeah. And now the mitten of Michigan is another tracing the Great Lakes here. This coast of Michigan is beautiful. I really want to visit this again. I, I drove along here when I was very little. I think I was only four, going to my aunt's wedding in Mackinac Island. So I don't remember too much, but yeah, I'd love to go back here. Super beautiful part of the country. Back around, yeah, my tracing job here is very... Very shoddy. This is not good work. And then gotta make sure I get Port Huron in there. And then does this along the St. Clair through Detroit and down to Toledo. And like that. And that's not a perfect straight line. It's like a little bit of a weird thing there. That's fine. Let's see what we get it for that. 98. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Alabama's next. Another one that is mostly there. I definitely didn't draw enough of Florida. Oh, I didn't get Pensacola. I thought I had it in. We can get it for Alabama now. We can rectify what I've done wrong. Making sure I got Pensacola. There it is. Do a little bit of that and start line up here. And I think I think I draw the bay for Mobile. There we go. Alabama. 94 points. Wyoming. Wyoming has seen better days right now because I really screwed up Idaho and Utah. So I'm pretty sure I did a good job over to the east, but over on this side, I've got to fix that. So let's start here. Draw this Montana border, which I'm pretty happy with. And then to this point as well, I'm happy with that. But I've just got to go farther like this. Yeah, I, I really screwed up Utah. <laughs> Look at how bad that was. And then it hits Nebraska, Colorado tri-point. Submit that. 99, wow. Hey, not hard to draw a rectangle, I guess. New York. A lot of tracing, but then we have to do like the Ontario border here. Sweeps around Buffalo, and Niagara Falls, hits the lake. And now it's just tracing here. Make sure I'm doing this right. I'm pretty sure this island is American. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit of annexation going on for me. Up along the river here, and then past Cornwall. Is that Cornwall? I don't know. And then we hit this. And it's down by Lake Champlain. Shaving a little bit off Connecticut and Mass here. And then down to New York City, Long Island. First and all this. I'm, I'm very sloppy with this one as well, but whatever, man. It's good enough. Staten Island in there. Tracing my New Jersey work. I'm pretty happy with New Jersey. Pennsylvania could be better, I guess, but it's good enough. It's there in spirit. That looks nice. 98 points. Ohio is next. Ohio already looks good because it's just river border tracing, straight line, and lake tracing. So, yeah, this is quite good. Here we go, Ohio. Past Cleveland. Cool city, actually. Underrated, I think. Yeah, this the end of this quiz really is just testing how I can trace and if I trust my previous drawings as well. Like, I can go back and see where I kind of messed up and fix it a bit better. So this is actually a kind of interesting way to do this. That is Ohio, yeah. 99, amazing. Nevada is next. Another one where I can fix my Idaho butchering here and do a much better job. But my California, we know was good. So I'll start with the California border. Trace that along. And actually, yeah, I did the Arizona thing well, I think. And now it's just straight line up. Sure, sure. 99! Colorado is uh, the final one. Saving another rectangle for last here. And again, I'm going to go with my New Mexico border over my Arizona for this one. We know Wyoming is pretty good and Nebraska. Supposedly Nebraska is fine. Kansas we know is good. And back down to New Mexico. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Submitting that for 98 and that is it. Final score, 45-49. I'm quite happy with that. Zooming out here, I'm very happy with my efforts. It is a bit easier when you have the satellite mode. You can use the rivers, the cities, and things like that to trace it out a bit. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with my efforts here. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to try to edit this down so it's not a super long video, but I had a lot of fun with this. Hope you enjoyed it as well. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.